Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Angelic Ray coming to you at Angelic Soul 11. And I just wanted to do a very quick short video for you, nice and sweet, in regards to the difference between a collective reading and a one-on-one -on -one reading, right? And so in a collective reading, you may or may not know this already. If you do, then you can just click out the video. If you do, um, if you don't, stay here and watch. And if you do already know this, hey, you just might want to hear my voice and see if there's something else you may learn, right? It is what it is. Anyway, moving forward. In a general collective reading, I may pick up things that are happening on a grander scale. I may pick up things that are happening on a micro scale. I may pick up one person's story. I may pick up everybody's story in different angles and ways, right? And so you know your story. It is very general, which means it can apply to uh, your relationships with your family, with your significance other with your um eating habits with your thinking with whatever type of relationships it is that you are um that you have on that board okay and it, it could be the relationships you have at work or with work as well right with money with foundation so home right um many different rounds and avenues is very general versus when it's a one-on-one -on -one reading my energy is more focused and directed into a certain energetic signature which you are and it also brings forth any energy that may be surrounding you that you connect with but it's going to be the message in which spirit wants for you. And many of you may know me already from different groups on Facebook and Instagram, okay? Have seen me live, know me in person, had, had experiences with me um, from the past versus now in many different ways, okay? So, um for those of you that know me can see and know how I work. But for those of you that don't, I can pick up a message for you that you didn't even want to really know about or you weren't really addressing. And spirit going to be a dry ass snitch as I like to call it and be like, well, this is really what you really need to pay attention to and what you really need to look at. Because this ball, this bubble right here needs some nurturement or needs some more energy or more light or whatever the case may be so that you can... Um, spread it out or do what you will with it or break it up or whatever right um, it is that you need right um, and so sometimes yeah I'll get into the avenue in which you want me to get into it can be about love but in the middle of that love you'll see how it is connected to another um, energetic frequency in your life that created like a domino effect, right, um, in your life to create certain results in your life. Um, and so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more personal. There's going to be more details. Um, and I have to say this because sometimes it sounds like my collective readings are kind of just saying the same BS to some of you. I really don't care what you think about it. I mean, at the end of the day, you're watching it. So if it's bullshit to you, then that is what you are digesting into your body. And you might as well just go to the bathroom and release that shit. Okay. Thank you very much. Moving forward. <laughs> because sometimes, you know... I can feel a lot of things and um, some people just really allow certain manifestations of their reality, of their being 
to be present in their reality and then they uh, apply a certain judgment in that that is for you um, and apply it how you may need to so moving forward the personals the one-on-ones is more personal it is more um directed into serving you for your highest and greatest good and and having advice in which can take you from point a to point b in the best way and if i cannot do that i will look for the resources or figure out the resources or person that may be able to have a solution for you if i cannot find a solution I do not believe that when you get a reading, but this is a belief system of mine and everybody works how they will. And I'm not telling anybody to do their job. I'm just saying this is how I work. That when someone is coming to me um, for one on one, there is a, whether they get some confirmation or they feel validated or whatever the case may be, or they learn something new. They're coming because at some point area in their life they whether they're getting confirmation they're getting confirmation in what the message it is that they're getting is accurate but they may not necessarily know how to move forward and i always want you to think for yourself i always want you to use your discernment and choose the path you want for yourself but i can also be a divine channel to see what divine messages and advice you can have as a possible avenue for you and so that is my job and that is what I do. I don't project a reality onto you. That is your job to do. I can't do it for you. I can't be your projection. I can't be your perception. I can't be your eyes. I can tell you, look at this picture and you may not see the same thing I see. And even if you try to see it in the same way, it can be in a different color or a different angle or different vibration. And so I just can't do your job for you. But I could walk with you. Okay, and that's that's what I do in my one on ones. All right. And if I'm just not the person for you, then you know what? There's there's someone that I can find because I was the person you needed at that time, which is why your soul, only those that are divinely guided to connect with me are the ones that's going to connect with me. And so there are no mistakes in that. The way that I am doesn't resonate with everyone. And sometimes I may have to be like, yo, I'm not the one for you, but I definitely know somebody that can be the one for you. Or the two or the three, whatever it may be. <laughs> you know, and so that's what I really just wanted to say is really allow yourself to be open to whatever general messages are out there because that's what applies to the whole collective um versus in your life or how you can integrate or if you're supposed to integrate whatever it may be but the one-on-ones are a lot more personal it gets more detailed oriented okay and so that is my message um and sometimes i'm gonna tell you also there's some times that i have to give you messages that you may not want to hear that i may not really know or want to uh know how to deliver but i'm always going to give it to you raw and true because i can't i've learned my lesson um from holding back and i've also had experiences where the messages was not um how do i say it it's always in good light because you learn right um but it's not always an experience that we may have wanted to um have in our lives or see for another being however everybody um chooses their experience for a reason for soul growth 
Um, and so that being said, sometimes it is about transitioning. Sometimes it is about certain traumas or dilemmas or situations that are occurring or may occur or may need healing. Um, and so you have to be open to be prepared to any type of message that you get from me. Okay. And that being said, I love you. I thank you. Peace.